Okay. This one, I think you are going to love. This is a new study. They're calling it a groundbreaking new study. It just came out. It's flipping the script on this global narrative that animal protein kills and plant pl protein heals and is our savior. Okay, so let me lay the groundwork here for you. In 2014, the journal Cell Metabolism published an article uh, by Levine. Uh, that's his last name. This article used um, the third National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, the NHANES survey from 1988 to 1994. And for those not familiar, NHANES is a big deal, right? NHANES is, um, it's, it's run by the CDC mm -hmm. and it's widely considered high quality data for population level health and nutrition assessments. So this is like a gold standard population level for understanding health. And part of that's because they actually physically examine people. It's not just the questionnaire. It's been going on since like the 1970s. We use NHANES when we're tracking things like nutrient deficiencies in America or obesity trends or changes in level of fat consumption, things like that. So it's a big deal to be um, using data from, an, from NHANES, okay? So back in 2014, Levine and his team used this data and they concluded that protein intake from animals resulted in a 75% increase in overall mortality and a fourfold, which is a 400% increased risk of cancer in adults age 50 to 65. So this was a, a the, one of the big studies that was like plastered across headlines. Uh, they became media darlings and it, it set off this whole thing of, oh, well, we really should be consuming our protein from plants, right? Yeah, no, no doubt. This was uh, a lot of the basis for like the documentary, you know, cow, um, Cowspiracy and then What the Health uh, that was the follow-up to it. Okay. Yes, yes. So, um, okay, now what's happened is a separate group uh, has re-examined the same exact data set. Okay, so they took the same exact NHANES data and they have re-examined it. And this is what they're saying. There was an inverse association between cancer and mortality and animal protein. So there was actually a protective effect. So the more um, the animal protein consumption did not lead to increase in cancer and mortality. So here's, here's the direct quote from them. Our analysis revealed no significant adverse associations between dietary protein from either plant or animal origin and all cause or cardiovascular disease related mortality. So they're saying that's not actually true, that the, if you look at the data, it doesn't say that there's higher risk of death and higher risk of cancer if you eat meat. So uh, they also show that in the other study, they talk about you know the original 2014 study, they said that, oh, well, plant protein consumption would actually is healthier, it, it could decrease your mortality risk. This new re-examined data set, they said, we did not find beneficial mortality outcomes with increasing plant protein consumption in contrast with previous reports. So again, total opposite findings, same, same data set, total opposite findings. So how did this actually happen? Okay, so, what they're saying in here, and, and Joel, I'm telling you, I've never seen anything like this written up in a discussion of, um, you know, in a peer-reviewed published scientific journal, I've never seen somebody write this in a discussion before, okay? Yeah. So first, what they did, you know, they're, they're trying to defend their position sure. and well, get published. They, they cir circle the wagons, you know, you don't, you don't upset the fraternity. 
That's right. So here's what they first said. Okay, first they're citing a study from 2022, okay? And this study also used this same NHANES data set, okay? This is what they said. Oh, okay, and of course, that study also concluded that animal protein is bad for you, okay? So this is what they said. Our data are at odds with those reported by the 2022 study, which also used NHANES, but only reported data on 2,605 participants from 30 to 65 years. A reason for this choice was not immediately clear. So that's the best you can ever say in a scientific discussion of, of, of a journal <laughs> is you can say, oh, this is not clear. You point it out. You point not out the flaw. Not immediately clear. It's not immediately clear. So they skewed the data. They cherry picked in that 2022 study, they cherry picked the data and to get the result they wanted, just like Ansel Keys did. Yeah. And they're and they're saying it's not clear to us why they did this. Okay. Then they go on and now they're talking about this 2014 study, which kicked this all off, right? The animal protein's bad. Was it's one of the things that kicked it off. It says our results are in stark contrast to the conclusions from Levine, you know, from 2014. Mm -hmm. Given that we use the same data set, we're unable to fully account for the marked discrepancies between our data and those of Levine. We propose that many of the previously reported relationships, you know, in that study were spuriously high due to uneven numbers of participants in their respective groups and small numbers of cases of all cause and disease specific mortality artificially inflating risk when comparing arbitrary defined protein intake groups. They did not use usual intakes, but actual intakes. So basically they're saying they arbitrarily defined no. what they wanted and skewed the groups in order well, to get the conclusion. You know, that that's that's been scientific trickery forever, hasn't it? We yes. I mean Ansel Keys, that was that's the one of the most egregious. But uh but where you have this well, I will throw out those five countries and we'll just pick yeah. these five countries. And uh and, and this is exactly the same thing. Yeah, and now and but it's published. It's like it got through peer review. It's actually there in you can't really argue that at this point. It's there. It's it's published. It went through peer review. This is published in Applied Physiology, Nutrition and Metabolism. I mean, this isn't just some fly by the, the night journal. Friends, want to dive deeper into our thought provoking conversations? Become part of the Beyond Labels family today by joining below. For any gift amount, you'll get access to the full uncut episodes every contribution whether big or small keeps this podcast going so join us and expand your beyond labels experience thank you